Hey guys, here, welcome to another video. My name is Tristan Zenga and I post videos about beauty patients. If you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to the channel and checking out my other videos. So, one day ago, Miss South Africa announced the official top 10 candidates and today I'm going to be giving to you my reaction and what I think about the top 10. And um, please bear in mind that I made a predictions before my top 10 favorites and today they announced the top 10 so I'm going to be saying what I think. So first up guys was Anazad Omar, 23 years old. So in 2019 she made the top 35 and the next year she made the top 30 and this year she's finally in the top 10. I'm so happy for her, she's so beautiful and she was my predictions so I'm so happy that and now that is able to make the top 10. Next up guys we have Ayanda Tabethe, 23 years old. When I saw her in the top 10 I was so happy seriously. Ayanda is very nice. She messaged me on Instagram and I'm just so happy that she was able to make the top 10 seriously. Like she's just so nice. The next up was Itumeleng Parash, 22 years old. So as she made the top 10, I was so happy. This is another girl that was also in my predictions and in my favorite video. So I'm so happy that she's able to make the top 10. I just want to wish her all the best in the competitions. She's so nice, especially with her bright smile. And I want to see how far she goes. I'm just so happy that we're able to see her on the stage. Kia Leboga Kashe, 26 year old. So she was also in my favorite video. I'm so happy. She's a teacher and also a model. I think that she's one of the unique contestants this year when it comes to futures like her body, her face, and she's so sexy. So when I saw her in the top 10 also, I was so happy. Like so far, oh my god, all the girls in the top 10 are in my predictions. Like they're in my favorite video. Like what's happening? Next up we have Lebugang Malangu, 26 year old. So I watched Lebugang at Miss South Africa's 2020 and I'll say that she was so nice. So being able to make it this year again in the top and go to the stage i'm so happy i can't wait to see how far she goes this time and i'm just praying that let her be able to win one of the crowns this year so that i'll be able to see her again on the international stage we have Luve me at 25 year old so Luve made the top 35 in 2020 and now here she is in the top 10. i think Luve is an amazing contestant and she's so beautiful she was also in my favorite video i don't know why so far all the girls have been calling the way in my video like what's happening and guys honestly the way that i made that video like i just judged them from their profiles and their faces and i'm just so happy that many of my girls from there are able to make it to the final top 10 and i'll be able to see them on the stage i just want to wish luve all the best and i cannot wait to see her perform in the competition next up we have luyanda zuma 20 years old so luyanda was not originally in my favorite video but after that video, I asked her research more about the contestants and I saw her profile. I think she was just so good and so sexy. And now that she's able to be here in the top 10, I see her as honestly a very potential candidate. And I cannot wait to see how far she's going to go. I think that she's so sexy. Like she just has everything that it takes to be on top at the South Africa pages. And I cannot wait to see her. Next up, we have Ndavi Ndokeri, 23 years old. So Ndavi is so beautiful. I think she was the one who made the top 10 through the at home vote and she was also in my favorite video i just love her a lot there's this aura about her that i enjoy and i like her when she's in the great hairstyle like i said it before in my other video and i'm just so happy that she's able to be the top 10 i want to see her on the stage and finally hear her talk on stage i'm so happy for her so next up guys we have pearl teshi 25 years old so pearl was in the top 10 last year and this year she's in the top 10 i don't know that much about her but surely after this video i'm always gonna research more about all the top 10 and finally i cannot wait to just see her on stage i said this is another beautiful candidate beautiful and natural candidate so i just want to wish her all the best in the competition and finally guys we have tasmin jack 25 years old so i just love tasmin a lot she's so beautiful she was not in my favorite video but i think that she's a very great contestant and she's so unique and i like her facials a lot her face is like she's very photogenic her photos are nice and she's so beautiful so with all of this i just want to wish her all the best i cannot wait to see how fat tasmin is going to go in the competition so guys i'm so happy that seven girls out of my original 10 sinful rights were able to make it to the top 10 but now i'm going to see what i think about those that don't make it to the top 10 because it's really hurt at some point seriously first up we have mampolo so mampolo competed in miss south africa 2017 alongside dimly neil peters and for this pigeons honestly i saw her as a front runner and i was already aiming that maybe she was going to go to miss world or just be miss south africa in general and honestly it's so sad that she's not able to make it because i think she's a great woman she's an entrepreneur 
and just the fact that she committed the same year with Demi and took some time off and before coming back again I thought that it was honestly enough preparation for her I don't know why she's not making the top 10 finally but I'm just so sad but still I want to wish her all the best moving forward so next up I have Bianca so Bianca made the top 5 or the top 3 last year and this year she's not making the top 10 I think it's so sad seriously because if I was a contestant just imagine that before like you are in the top five we are one of the finalists and then this year you don't just make it to the stage at all like it's so sad seriously bianca was a candidate that sold a lot of potential and now that she's not in the top 10 i just hope that i see her in another pigeant again shortly because i think that she's so good next up guys i have chuma so to me chuma was so beautiful and nice her photos were stunning and honestly now that she's not in the top 10 i just kind of feel sad for her seriously like many people liked her a lot and now she's not able to make it it's so sad next up we have lil nolo so this was not the first time that she has been one of the top 30 and she's a transgender woman and I was really hoping to see her finally express herself on the stage and so now that she's not in the top 10, it's just sad, seriously but I just want to wish Lilo Nolo all the best moving forward Zwe So I think Zwe was very beautiful and to me she was a unique contestant also because of her skin condition and now that she's not able to make it to the stage, many people are not going to know more had it been she had made it to the top 10 before and it's just sad, seriously. But still, I just want to wish her all the best moving forward. I think she's a very beautiful and nice person. Next up, we have Boniswa. So Boniswa, I enjoyed her a lot because she was giving me this college girl vibes and I'm from college also. And now she's not the top. I just feel sad, seriously. But anyways, I think... I believe that if something is for you, it's for you. Or oh, your time will come. Like Kashiona Gray said, on your path, you are never denied, but only redirected. So guys, honestly, I cannot wait for the finals in August, like to see these top 10 contestants on the stage. Like I'm just so happy and excited. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below what you think of the top 10 or you think of my video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like Busy Pigeon videos and like the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.